Good morning. Uh, my name is Maciej Przezny and I am working in CAS company as a software architect and software developer. In this movie I am going to present how to establish the communication between ComServer installed on my laptop and SIA PLC. The SIA PLC is prepared for this presentation to make it possible to control the values inside the PLC from the front panel, like this. In this presentation, I'm going to use the serial line to connect the PLC. We are going to connect SIA PLC with ComServer. We will be using uh, com SBUS as a communication protocol uh, and OPC Viewer as the OPC client. Uh, of course, uh, the OPC client and OPC server ComServer can be installed on the same, same machine. It will be my laptop. Uh, before we go to, uh, to configuration, we have to talk about two things. The first thing is communication infrastructure. And the second is what data we are going to read from the PLC. So let's start from the communication infrastructure. Uh, we have ComServer. We will add one channel to the ComServer. The next is uh, SBUS RS data provider. Uh, we have to add one segment and we have to add uh, SIA station with port with address 1. The next is uh, what data we are going to read from the PLC. We are going to read uh, three groups of data. Uh, the first group are registers. Uh, the first register is increments every 100 milliseconds. The second register increments every one second. And the third register increments every 10 seconds. Uh, the second group are register two, but those register can be controlled from the uh, front panel. Uh, those register, the, the, the first uh, register in this group have, has address uh, 10, the second has address 11. Uh, the third group is, are, is flags. Uh, we are uh, going to read two flags. Uh, those, uh, the values of those flags can be controlled from the front panel using those switches. So let's start the configuration. To configure the ComServer, we have to use the Network Configuration tool. By default, the Network Configuration tool starts with empty configuration. We have channel and stations. Uh, firstly, we have to build the communication infrastructure. The first step is adding the channel. Let's name it Channel. The second step is adding the data provider. The data provider is a pair of the protocol and communication medium. In this example, uh, we have to use SBUS RS uh, as, uh, as the protocol and uh, RS serial, serial line as the medium. This window displays the configuration of the data provider. Uh, the main thing is the configuration of the serial link. Uh, we have to set baud rate, uh, data bits, parity, stop bits, um, and port name. Uh, port name uh, on this picture is uh, communication port uh, in my PC. Uh, we have to set those settings accordingly to uh, PLC settings. My PLC use the default settings, so I do not have to change anything. Above, uh, we can uh, find protocol specific configuration. In this data provider, we can find some timeouts uh, that we can change to set up the data provider for our needs. We have we, now we can use the default settings, but I'm going to present what is the influence of those settings on the communication.
The next step is adding the segment. Let's name it segment. Uh, here we have many other uh, parameters, but uh, we can use the default settings. Now we are going to add the port. Sometimes we are call it interface. This is two-step operation. The first step uh, is adding a station for this port. Because we have not yet any station in the configuration, we have to add new station. Let's name it Saya. The second step is setting the port address. This address is the address of my SIA in the mean of SBUS protocol. I know that my SIA has address 1 in SBUS. Now we have to configure what data and how often we are going to read. We are going to add one group to be read every uh, 1000 milliseconds, which is uh, every one second and uh, the timeout in my example would be 5 seconds. I am going to add uh, three blocks of registers. The first block uh, has type register and the address is 1. In this block we have to add three tags uh, The com server uh, suggests the names and other parameters so we don't have to change anything and we can use the default settings. Have you remember the meaning of those registers? I was talking about it in the presentation at the beginning. The first increments every 100 milliseconds the second increments every one second and the last one every 10 seconds. The second block is also registers but the starting address is 10. Those registers are controlled from the front panel so let's uh, set the names accordingly to the input number. So we can add uh, suffixes uh, like input 32, input 33. The last block uh, are flags. The starting address is 1. Uh, we have to add two flags. Uh, the first flag is controlled by the first switch on the front panel, so let's add SW1. and the second flag is we can add SW2 to the name. Now we can save the configuration rules using the default name. Which is default config in the conserver directory.